Hello everyone! Kumusta? Mabuhay from the Philippines! My name is Che and welcome to my channel! Today, I'm going to share with you my Vanda orchids, their roots, and what I did to make them healthy. Out all of my orchids here, the Vandas are growing the best for now. They haven't flowered yet. I'm looking forward for their flowers, but the other thing that I want to see with my orchids aside from flowers are roots, growing roots. And I just finished watering, but before I show my Vandas, I'd like to show you this first. My Denrobium miniaya again. <laughs> After the four spikes, another four spikes. She is such a show off. And back to my Vandas. This is my Vanda Mimi Palmer and I have her for more than a year already. She hasn't flowered yet, but she just grow and grow her roots. And I showed you her roots before in my other video. She only has few roots, but her roots were growing for months ago. And now look at her roots almost touching the ground and i want to pot her up just to contain the roots inside a pot but i am hesitating so if you have some tips on how to keep these roots please share in the comments this is my pure wax blue the leaf had sunburn but i haven't cut that yet and her roots are also growing crazy this is a vanda that i bought as a medium size and now the leaves are growing wide and the roots are growing and growing and i must say that i am not an expert about vandas but i follow tips from experts and here are my new vandas I got this new Vandas less than a month ago and I have a video about the unboxing which I will include the link in the description. Please check that out if you haven't already. And I was surprised yesterday when I saw this, a new root. And I hope that she will grow more and more roots because I was worried about her. And I also see here a tiny new root tip very tiny she is growing and i am so happy and this one i don't see new roots from her but i'm very positive that she will be growing her new roots very soon her roots are green i have already cut the dead roots so let's see here and yes i think she is already growing her new root look at that peaking <laughs> this one she had active root tips before but they stopped growing maybe because of the transport and the shipping but those roots that stopped growing are now starting to grow again look at the root tips they are starting to grow look at that i am so excited i hope that they will flower for me soon <laughs> is it too much to ask <laughs> look at this big root that is active again almost the size of my smallest finger i hope that she will grow continuously and here I am not sure about her and I'm actually worried about her because she has brown roots but there are also green roots so I'm still positive. I'm still hoping for the best for this Vanda. Here's a dead root and I will cut this. I will cut the dead roots and I have a video on how to cut or trim dead roots of Vanda orchids and if you haven't watched that yet, I will include the link of that video in the description this is a small vanda and she already had this brown stem when i got her 
she lost some leaves when I got her and I'm worried about her but she has nice roots so I will see if she'll be growing well and here are my Vanda orchids from Sul Orchids Davao and I also have a video about the unboxing which I will also include a link in the description if you haven't watched that yet check out that video they are already growing and I got them a month ago these are new roots I am so happy with their progress look at these these are all new roots i actually gave them vitamin for the roots or root hormone and i will share that with you later i'll just have to show you the roots first for this one i'm thinking of applying fungicide because there are black spots on the leaves but her roots are also growing so it must be a positive sign but shall I apply fungicide? I'm still thinking about it. And here are my sandarianas or waling waling. I have two of them and they are also growing new roots. I hope that they will not stop growing. I have to cut this leaf. I lost a sandariana before and I hope that not this time. And here are my Vandas in our DIY Vanda Hanger. And if you haven't watched that video yet, I will include that link in the description. They have lost some lower leaves, but their roots are actively growing. Let's check the roots. The leaves have been growing and growing. And if you're wondering how I water my orchids or my vandas, I have a video how I water them and I will also include that link in the description. This is not how I grow orchids before. I showed you my mother's garden, my mother's orchids, and that's how we grow orchids. We attach them on trees. But this is how I grow my orchids now since we transferred and i regularly give them fertilizers and i have a video on how i fertilize my orchids i will also include that link in the description so please check that out look at these root tips they are big these are healthy and thick but here these root tips have died off and i have to place the roots here because they were growing here they were touching the calamansi and i think some insects took a bite on those root tips because these calamansi maybe have insects here so i place the roots there and this is how my vandas here look like and i am waiting and can't wait for them to bloom i also have other vandas which are potted in plastic pots i repotted them in these white pots with lava rocks they were in black pots with charcoal before they are also growing new roots, but I won't show them all to you. I just showed you that I also grow my vandas in pots. And this is the vitamin that I talk about. Vitamin B1, root hormone or root stimulant. I bought this from Miss Cherry, but you can also find this at Lazada, Shopee or other online sellers this is the back and i can't discuss much about this i can't explain this to you because i am not an expert but i add this to my fertilizers when i mix my fertilizer i also mix one teaspoon of this per one gallon but i don't use this all the time i just use this whenever i have new orchids up to three applications with my fertilizer and I spray all of my orchids 
but I don't give all of the credits to this vitamin for the new roots. Of course, new roots will come when your orchids love your climate, your watering, and whatever care you give them. They will grow if they are happy, and this is just a bonus. So here are my Vandas and I think I need to add more shading net on this part because the sun changed position or the earth changed axis. So the sun is shining on this part and look at the sky. It's very clear. So it's very hot during noon and afternoon. So we need to add net. Thank you for being with me and if you have tips on how to make Vandas happier and how to make them bloom, I hope that you'll share it with me through the comments. For my Vandas, I water them at least twice a day and I regularly give them fertilizer. I also cut their dead roots. And by the way, they are exposed to rain because they are in an open area. And of course, when it's raining, I don't water them. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam. See you on my next videos.